guys. Hey, this is Deb. Um, so we are going to be making a card using the watercolor melon set. This is free. Uh, you can earn it for free. It is um, one you can earn with a $50 purchase. So we're just going to get right into it. We're going to make a card and um, that is it. So, and then I'm going to tell you about my um, sale celebration event that I'm going to have in March. So the first thing I want to do right before we make our card is just to show you the different color combinations that I did. So this is Granny Apple Green and this is Granny Apple Green on Granny Apple Green. This is Shaded Spruce, Garden Green, and Old Olive. So I just wanted you to see how each one of those look if you stamp them directly on Granny Apple Green. And then I did the same colors here on um, white. So Granny Apple Green, Shaded Spruce, Garden Green, and Old Olive. So you need to tell me which one you think looks the most real. So I'm, I'll tell you what I like. Um, but I really like this uh, Shaded Spruce. I thought it looks the kind of the prettiest. And then there's a couple different slices that you can make. This one, um, obviously, is a quarter. There's one with a bite. I didn't do that one. This is Poppy Parade. This, no, yeah, this is Poppy Parade. This is Sweet Sorbet. So when I was thinking about making this card, I was going to use the Sweet Sorbet, but honestly, I like Poppy Parade. I would have never guessed, because to me, it looked more orange, like when I looked at the label, but um, it looks beautiful, I think. And then you can do a half, um, of a piece of watermelon. And then of course there's these beautiful leaves. So we're going to make a card. Um, and I just, again, I just wanted to show you those different colors. One, in case you don't have them or two, if you do have all of them, this just gives you a little bit of a precursor if you decide to, to use any of those. Now, if you have the oval punch, which I don't, which I'm thinking now I might get because I, there's several projects that I think would be it would be good for. Um, it will cut this right out um, if you have the oval punch. And of course, if you have the oval punch and you do this, I think you can stamp two or three of, like two of those, you know, one go in one direction, one go in the other, and then use the oval punch. Um, but there's but if you don't have it, these are super easy to, to cut out. All right, so let's get started on our card. So we're going to use a piece of eight and a half by five and a half, Granny Apple Green um, scored at four and a quarter. And then we have a piece of four inch by five and a quarter for the inside of our card. And then we're just gonna use a couple layers here. Um, basic black. This is, I think, um, three and three fourths by uh, four and a quarter. And then this is just a quarter inch or an eighth of an inch off that. So you'll see it's just the small border. Okay, all right, so let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is we are actually going to stamp that very large watermelon, the stamp, and we're gonna use that as our background. But I am gonna stamp it in shaded spruce. So I really liked how that looked. So I'm just gonna tap it in there and um, get it a little bit more. And I'm just gonna use it as my background. So now remember, if you stamp off like that, just make sure you don't stamp again. Like if you're doing a like a light and a dark, because I stamped off some, there's a little bit of ink left on there and it will actually then give you like a portion of an image that's maybe really dark and really light. So just always make sure you go back and re-ink. And if you want a lighter version, just make sure you stamp off and then come back on. And again, we're just gonna do a couple. Remember, I'm gonna have an image um, that covers this, so I don't need everything so to speak, um, covered. You just need some. And there we have it. Now, if I want to test to make sure I'm not looking at a big blob, I can put this right over, and I kind of like how that looks. So we will be done with that stamp. So let me just um, rinse that off here real quickly. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're gonna go ahead and stamp our image that we want on this card. Now, I did go ahead ahead of time and I stamped and cut 
uh, three watermelon slices that I'm going to put on here. But first I want a greeting and I'm just gonna put the word smile and I'm actually taking that from this Love This Moment. This is great for scrapbooking, but um, we're gonna go ahead and use that sentiment. And we're just gonna stamp it in basic black right in the center there. Or actually I'm gonna put it a little bit above center. So, because what we're gonna do is we're gonna have these little watermelon guys. I think I'm gonna put these kind of at the bottom. And maybe, yeah, I think I'm gonna try to have them all on the bottom, or I'm going to put them along the side. Not quite sure yet. We're gonna take a look and see where we like them, but we're gonna put our smile right up here, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and get out our basic black ink. And we're just gonna stamp this and make sure I get that nice and nice and straight. Okay, I'm gonna stamp off this first just to make sure I'm getting a good, yep. And we're gonna put that right up here. Perfect. I had to stand up um, to see that, but uh, let's bring that back in and we will start our layering here. So I hope you guys have all had a nice, a nice Sunday. Um, you know, before we do that, I love this leaf stamp. So I think we're gonna go ahead and just put a couple leaves on here. And I think I'm gonna do those in the Granny Apple Green. So let's do just a few, a few leaves here. Kind of around our, around our, our sentiment, there we go. Oops, okay, we're gonna cover that up, right? Did you guys, I made a little, made a little boo-boo there. All right, so let's go ahead and adhere these two together. So I, um, so I'm having this event in March. So anyone who places an order or signs up for, so places an order of $150 and that can be combined orders. So if you order up to $150 before tax and shipping between now and March, um, I'm sorry, February 29th, then you will be invited to this special event. So I'm really looking forward to it. It's going to be a lot of fun. And then for those of you who don't know, at the end of July or end of June, um, I am going to be having a scrapbook weekend. And it's going to be actually, so I live in Michigan, so it's going to be actually down in Indiana um, in uh, at Dalsessen House in the Amish area. And I am so looking forward to that. I think it's gonna be a ball. And uh, I am looking forward to um, just to talking more about that here in the in the coming weeks. I'm kind of finalizing a few things. And, um, and once I do, then I will make sure I let you guys know the date and how you can register. Uh, but totally, that is gonna be just a lovely, a lovely event in an awesome location. So if you live anywhere in Ohio, Michigan, Indiana, even Chicago or uh, Illinois or Wisconsin, you will want to try to make it. It'll be fun. All right, me and my bows, right? So I need to get that a little tighter. And then we are going to adhere this to our cards. So we want to make sure that, uh, let me just get this a little bit. A little bit tighter there. Oops. All right, I'm going to do a little fancy work on the back to get that to be a little more, a little more stayed. So let me grab the scissors here and we will just cut that off and you guys can see that's a little more loose than I want it. So all I'm gonna do is take my Stampin' Seal here 
and I'm going to put that on back here. And if I just see how I got that little bit, I'm just gonna pick it up and then I'm gonna end up with a nice little, a little bubble back there, but now it's nice and tight on the front of the card. So that's what we're after. Okay, so now we're gonna bring in our card base again. It's getting a little crowded up here, over here. All right, we are gonna, um, Go ahead and adhere this directly to the card because these were going some of those were going to actually pop up on dimensionals. So we will just add some more adhesive back here, and we're going to put that right in the center of our card. There we go. And I think by putting our ribbon here and we made these greenery, we're just going to put these along the various edges here and maybe one down here. So we'll just kind of arrange these a variety of ways and a couple of them will pop up on dimensionals. And this is gonna give us a nice little pop of color. And again, super easy to, um, and we'll put this one up on dimensionals. I meant to put this one up on dimensionals, but it appears I cannot talk and do at the same time. So that's a little funny. All right, here we go. I have a picture of our daughter who loved what loves and loved watermelon um, when she was really little. And I thought, oh, this will be perfect for a scrapbook page. So I've got to kind of go back and, and look at those images and and see if I've done a page yet for them. So there we go. That is the front of our card. And then we're gonna just take the inside here and let's go ahead and stamp a couple more leaves. And we will do a um, piece of the watermelon. And uh, we'll do a piece of the watermelon and then we'll do a, um, a leaf there if we can kind of fit it all in. By the way, this looks, you could use it for cheese too, I've determined. So I'm gonna put it right about there. And then um, I'm gonna use, there's two pieces that are rinds. So we have one that's long that fits to this and then we have the other one we were used on these particular pieces. So we'll just swap out here and pop that in some sheeted spruce and then we're just gonna kind of tip that up and get a nice little rind color in there and then for our seeds there are two different stamps though so there's one that has three and another one that only has one seed on it so we're going to use the one that has three and we'll just tap this in our black here and just add a couple oops get that it went a little too fast there so we'll just cover up our little our little mistake and then let's go ahead and take some of the granny apple green and we'll do a little bit of a leaf image here along along that side there. there we go. And then we'll kind of try to do another one maybe a little bit down here. There we go. And we will adhere this to the inside of our card and then we will be done. So again for a free set I think you guys can get a ton of cards and different ideas out of this one. I think it's absolutely an adorable set for summer. And if you're doing um, know, like party invitations, I just felt like this would be a nice one for that as well. But there you go. There are some black matte dots that I have that I think also would add a lot to this or just a little splash of red 
But there you have it, guys. That is it. That is our card for today. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, the one thing I wanted to share with you again, um, I posted this on my Facebook page, but this is the Celebration Celebration. And again, if you spend $150 during January and February, so during Celebration, and it can be, again, multiple orders, it just has to total $150 or you join um, my team, then you get to come to this event. And it's going to be from 9.30 to 1.30 um, on March 30th. And we'll have stamping and games and food and um, some prizes. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, I hope you guys can, can um, make it. And if you have any questions, please let me know. But that is uh, kind of our party uh, for those of you who kind of supported uh, Four Seasons, me and Four Seasons Crafts during this um, celebration. All right, guys. Thanks much. Hope you enjoyed this and we will talk to you soon. See ya. Bye.